Are you struggling to play Free Fire using your wireless controller? Well, watch this video, it may actually help you. Let us show you how we use our PS5 controller using Nox. Now, before we jump into the video, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to check us out on eBay at GameXTC. You'll get valuable information on leveling up your video game hardware and software. The first thing you want to do is go to your Bluetooth settings on your PC. You then want to select add Bluetooth for other device and on your PS5 controller, you want to press the home button and share button at the same time. This will then make the controller discoverable. Once discoverable, you can select the controller and then hit done. Now for part two of the setup, head over to the Nox Player website, the link's in the description and click download. Once downloaded, you'll see it appear on my desktop. Now that you've successfully downloaded Nox, you can now double click the setup file, which will start to initialize and then you can select install. You then click accept, accept again, and then finally, accept. The application will then start to install. The installation process may take some time to complete. So whilst we wait, let me just tell you what Nox actually is. The Nox player is an Android emulator. So essentially you can play the most popular mobile games and run apps on your PC. Once the installation is complete, you can then click start. The application would then start to boot. And during this boot process, you may receive a pop-up in relation to Razer, which you can either acknowledge or ignore. As I've ignored the pop-up, I'm now presented with the Nox Player UI. Now, there are tons of functionality within this tool, but considering that this tutorial is all about showing you how to use a PS5 controller with the Nox Player, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So first, let me download Free Fire. Using the search functionality, search for Free Fire. Then click the relevant link to download the game. Click install and once the installation process is complete, you can either play the game or click the home button and see it on your homepage. Now we've done the hard part, which really wasn't that hard. Let's launch the game and do the configuration. Whilst playing your game, you want to select the key set icon. Then controller. Here you want to drag your commands, or should I say the most frequently used commands. So I've used the left joystick and you want to place it directly on top of your on-screen prompt. I've also used a single click. Again, you want to drag this on top of your on-screen prompt and you can use as many configuration schemes as you like. As you drag the command onto your screen, you then press the button on your controller that you want to use. For example, my first prompt is X, the second is circle, then square, triangle, and then my left back button. You then click save and then you're ready to go. It's as simple as that. Hopefully you found this video helpful and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Please click that like button and also subscribe because at the end of the day, it helps us to help you.